All right, guys, welcome back to Seven Woods Farm. Today, we're gonna be doing a little bit of fencing. We have our H brace that has already been welded up and I'm getting ready to carry it over to the corner of our property and we're gonna go ahead and install it. Got a lot of fencing to put up and this is gonna be the first installment of a few that we're gonna get going on. Uh, I got some cows that are gonna be moved out here. We need to make sure that they are properly secured inside of our fencing. Good fencing is always important and one of the most important aspects of owning a farm with your livestock is to make sure you have good fencing. So I don't know if any of you guys have ever messed with any of the piping to install your fence that's already welded up. A lot of times when you get some fence done, when, when you're going to get your pipes, you're going to go ahead and install them as you go and you weld the pieces together. Well, I was able to pick up some of these H braces, and this is a corner H brace that we're looking at here. And this particular one's already welded up, and we're gonna go ahead and put it in the ground with some concrete. We've got some really hard clay out. All right, guys, we made it out here to the corner of the property. Uh, had a, a lot of trees that we had to navigate through. A lot of brush hit me in the face along the way, and it went fine until we got right to where I needed to go. As you can tell, here's my corner up on this little hill right here. I'm just gonna put the pipe right below that. As soon as I get out here and I go to set it down, little did I know that one of the pipes was kind of wrapped around the pallet fork on the tractor a little bit, just didn't realize it. And I was setting the tractor, uh, lowering the bucket down, when all of a sudden I heard the snap and sure enough, the pipe busted its weld. And taking a look at it, it's really, it's in this little cedar tree right here, but it's um, it's not welded real well. I don't think they got good metal penetration when they decided to weld this. They, uh, it doesn't look all that great. Anyway, it snapped off, here's the other piece, and now obviously I got a problem. Gotta love it, that's farming. Hi, Fred. What you doing, Fred? Everybody, this is Fred the chicken. He's a chicken who doesn't like to stay with his buddies. He likes to do his own thing. He's cool. He's hip. He likes to strut around in front of the other chick chickens and just tell them about how good it is out here. And yeah, we don't like Fred. At least the other chickens don't like Fred. Hey guys, what's going on? Everybody's looking good. <clears throat> All right, everybody. As soon as I get out of the sun here. Ooh, here we go. Welcome back to the second installment here at Seven Woods Farm. We're gonna be showing you the fencing, the completed fence that is 100% done now. Everything looks really good. I'm very happy with the job that was done. I know at the beginning of this video, you guys saw me with the tractor loading up some H braces that I was getting ready to put in the corners. Well, everything didn't go too well with that. And my timeline was pretty much shot because I had to get cows off my other place pretty quick. So I ended up calling a fencing company, the, the ones that came out and did the first half of the fencing that I got around the house here. As you can tell, it's uh, some of these, you can see some of the six inch posts, posts with the um, three kickers on it as it wraps around to my front yard. But that was the first installment of the fencing project and that happened last January. So we got everything finished. It looks really good. We're gonna go around and I'm gonna show you how it ended up and show you, what, talk about what I spent. All right guys, now we're gonna cruise on down along the front by the driveway here. Don't mind the Landstar 350, she just needs a little lubrication. That's what you hear that squeaking on. As 
as you can tell all the cedars out front were cleared in about a 10 foot path came in with a skid steer and just ripped them all up and pushed them out of the way and it is a stretch woven wire fence we'll look at it a little closer here in a minute but we got one strand of barbed wire on top another strand on the bottom all stretched nice and tight every 10 T posts we got it a line post installed so that's about a hundred feet or so Now guys, we're pulling up on the entryway on the south side of the property. And here we are. So we're at the south side of the property. This is my new gate, my new entryway. Over here I just did top rail and a custom gate that they made for me out of some, I believe it's two by two square tubing. And you can tell it's got the uh, four inch squares on it. And really happy with the way it came out and it's you know the welds is welds look great on all the fencing so i'm very happy with that uh nice handle here it's kind of spring loaded so all you gotta do is grab the side of it and pull and then it'll uh pop right back into place i just need to get a lock on this baby so nobody tries to come over here and open it without me knowing about it um so let's look a little closer at the fence as you can tell on the bottom you got uh, six inch by two inch rectangles and as you go all the way up same thing here you got about a six inch by six inch at the top so this is to help your baby goats and everything like that from sticking their heads through and kind of preventing that from happening them getting stuck up at the top the squares do get a little larger because they're not really needed now with this type of fencing and you can tell this is super tight um, you can get some some of the uh, older goats their horns can get in there and get stuck uh, i've only had one goat that's done it so far and i've had to help her out a couple of times but it's just it goes along with it unless you get some two inch by four inch no climb field fence it's hard to completely prevent it so that's just something that you're going to get and i'm okay with it i haven't lost any animals as a result of it and mainly i'm going to be keeping the cattle out here for the uh, most of the property and then just a small portion just a few acres for the goats so but just walking along around down the line here you can see how they cleared it out there's a cedar tree a bit really big thick cedar tree that they just ended up cutting to make it fit and that's all i wanted them to do and <clears throat> installed all the t-posts 10 feet and coming down the line here as we get to the far south corner of the property As I navigate my way through here in sandals. I'm not really dressed for this occasion. Alright, oh, we already got some trash over here. People like to throw stuff out their windows in my property. Gotta love it. Okay, so over here we have your typical H brace corner and with a 10 foot kicker, all driven into the ground with a hydraulic post pounder. So this is, in my opinion, superior to concrete. It's much less likely to come out, especially in this type of soil. Um, if you guys can see down the line, it goes all the way up my hill back there. And it is super tight, super straight, and uh, really done really well. So I'm pretty happy with it. And Barrera Fencing and Meridian did an excellent job. This is the second project that they've done for me and I'm really happy with the work that they do. He's done a good job, he's really easy to work with. And uh, you know, I'd recommend them, anybody locally to this area of Texas can check them out. They'll build you a good fence for sure. So, but <clears throat> that's what we're looking at guys. This is most of it. You know, obviously it does go to the back perimeter of the property, but it's just more of the same what we're looking at now. There's no reason to drive out there and, and uh, show you this more of the same thing. But just some, a lot of clearing they did for me and fence installation. So with a fence installation, you're going to have a cost, right? So you're going to have a cost. Typically, 
the fence guys are going to charge you per foot and it all depends on what you're looking for right if you get two strand of barbed wire with some woven wire goat fence is what i pretty much asked for you're gonna you're gonna end up paying roughly 250 per foot that's about where i've came in at and i think that's what you're gonna your average is gonna be if you go with just barbed wire because you want cattle you can get the price down from there <clears throat> two dollars a foot for six strand is uh pretty common i'd say still at this time i paid a little bit more because of the clearing that was done obviously it just wasn't just a straight pasture that they had to install some t-posts on there was a bunch of work and prep that had to be done before the fence came in so but with all that um i am into this whole project for about sixteen thousand. And this is a 26 acre property I got and it is completely fenced, multiple gates, uh, bracing that was all custom done and welded together. Um, it ended up com coming out real good. I'm super happy with it, like I said. And if you guys want to spend the money on a good fence, these guys, uh, Barrera Fencing out of Meridian is a, is a good option for you, but I'm sure there's, all, there's a lot of good fence builders out there and just do your homework, get some references, Take a look at some of the work they've done, what ranches they may have been on, what other farm jobs they may have done on. Um, you know, you don't want to hire like a residential fence builder to do a farm type fence because that is two very different things. So it's something you got to think about. So you want to make sure that you know you're, what you're getting in. This It's a big investment and it's an important investment. You don't want to basically go half ass, save a few dollars with somebody else and then get a subpar product. Um, spend the money do the research and make sure you know you get a, a couple of references at least from or a couple of bids i should say from a couple of fence builders before you even go to start a project like this so like i said this is 26 acres for me there's some people out there you guys could have hundreds even a thousand plus acres you know those are massive projects and you know you're gonna be gonna have a lot of guys chomping at the bit to get into one of those pro projects Fence builders like the good long ones that they can make some good money on and, and have consistent work. But make sure you're doing your homework before you spend that money that you know what you're getting out of it. So again, guys, this is this is the fence. It looks good. Super happy. I think I've said that already, but like uh, I'm you know, every time I look at it, I get pretty excited about it. I'm just not too many people get excited over a fence being installed, but I do. I'm happy with it. I'm glad I spent the money and I'm glad I went with these guys because it, it looks looks really good. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna head back to the house, check in on the kids. Well, check in on the kids. How about the goat kids? That's what I'm gonna check in on first. Go throw them some feed and see how everybody's doing. Hey guys, what's going on? Hey Pam, that's Pam the mama. That's Diva D, Diva Donkey. She is the predator donkey, pr predator, the uh, guardian donkey to protect from predators. So this guy over here giving me the the bug eyes that's billy and he is he's okay he's not one of those bad billies but he can be a pain in the butt because he's pretty strong and then we got these are pammy's little babies right here getting big hey guys what's going on what's going on we're gonna go ahead and give him some feed here Ooh. all right guys let's get a little a little something something here Let's get a little something in the bellies. Ooh, they're getting excited. Ooh, yeah. Hey, guys. Ooh, hey. What's going on? Hey, look who showed up. Hey, Fred. What's going on? Fred's like, what the heck? What's happening here, guys? What's going on? Hey, beep, 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 mama. Get away. She is such a hog. You think she let her kids eat first? <laughs> Hell no. She don't care. And then Diva over here, she wants some too, but she's a little skittish. She can be a little skittish sometimes. All right, guys, so we're feeding the donkeys, donkey and goats, and everybody's enjoying their little snack. Fred over there is extremely je jealous because he can't get in and eat some luscious goat feed that he would love to partake. All right, guys, we got the Landstar all tucked in for the night. 
Fred's following me out, wondering what's going on. The other chickens are over there looking for a little something. I'll probably throw them a little scratch here. But that's gonna do it for this video. So, like I said, early on in the video, you saw what was going on with me about ready to tackle that whole project. Pfft, yeah, it didn't happen. I, I really wanted to. I wanted to save that money and do it myself because a lot of the T-posts were already set on one side and I felt like I could at least do one of those runs. It ended up not happening. I ended up calling, uh, like I said earlier, Barrera's Fencing and they did an outstanding job. I should have just had that planned from the beginning. Um, as much as I like to do a lot of stuff myself, that type of project with 26 acres was in something that I probably should have handled by myself. So, and I said, also talked about earlier, getting a quality job done, right? You think, I, I'm usually pretty meticulous. I want to make sure it's done right, but I guarantee that those guys out there did a much better job, much more efficient, and built a lot better friends than I could have done. So, with that, let's go ahead and I'm going to end this video. Like, comment, subscribe, Seven Woods Farm. I'll see you next time.